Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you guys a little setup. I know we did the desk, but I want to do a setup of my car. This is actually the 2007 Dodge Charger RT setup slash tour, guys. I wanted to show you guys. I posted the videos of everything individually, but wanted to give you guys what we got going on here. So we got there. We got the uh, kicker base knob. That's for the kicker ZX1000.1. Uh, this is just a temporary cable here, guys. That feeds for the uh, Diablo Sport. I just haven't decided on a final installation place for that or a home, so I want to get on that. Uh, this is, guys, the Kenwood uh, DNX 9990 HD uh, with nav. Uh, I did have the factory nav in here, but I did go ahead and replace that. Also have the Sirius XM radio. So that's a nice feature to have. So. I do enjoy that. Um, for the Sirius, I just used the dash location for the antenna, and that is the LED for my uh, aftermarket alarm system, which is the Prestige uh, with the remote start uh, full alarm. So I've got my Bluetooth right there, microphone, that's for the DNX 9990. Um, I got some LED lights above there for just extra visibility. Uh, use a radar detector, not so much for speeding, just for awareness. Uh, down the highway, you know, I like to run about 70, 75. So we've got the tent strip across the windshield. Uh, mine does have the factory installed sunroof, and I do have the vent visor cover for that. So uh, going on here, guys, I got the uh, this is the driver's side. This is the cat skin interior that I've done that was just put in a couple of weeks ago uh, by my buddy Dan Schroeder over at Dan Mobile Electronics. Uh, in my cat skin videos, I got links for him, so you guys can check him out. So moving on to the vehicle here guys we'll come to the outside here let me shut this door and you guys know from the videos that we demolded the charger already so we've got under the hood I've got the motor running guys but we've got the uh, Mopar cold air intake there and these are actually the Morimoto uh, brand ballast this is the HID kit I'll put a link in the description of the retrofit uh, sourcekit.com that's where I got those from there's a Mopar Elite specific kit and that's the one I have comes with the harness so I'm getting ready to install the oil catch can as soon as I order it that'll go there uh, like I said guys that's the factory cold air intake and I have swapped out the slotted grill there and have inserted the honeycomb that would come on the RT package um, and I've put the RT emblem in there you guys can see the honeycomb there Okay, moving on to the vehicle on the driver's side still same demolded I'll give you guys a more preview here of driver's side cockpit view so here's my gauges here factory white gauges there was that microphone there for Bluetooth you know and you can see everything's here easily accessible here the Diablo down there so I've got the kicker base knob, like I said. I just used um, double stick uh, Velcro because I didn't want to put any screw holes and I wasn't for sure if that's where I wanted that. So it's kind of worked out for right now. Uh, so this is kind of the driver's side, just kind of what, you know, what I'm seeing every day as I'm cruising. So uh, this vehicle, guys, believe it or not, does have 126,000. Yes, I did say 126,000. I keep it immaculate, though. I uh, bought it with about... 30,000 I think close to that so here's the back seat guys this is a with that new cat skin interior of course everything's stock back here guys haven't done anything other than the interior and still working out wrinkles um, from the cat skin so just wait for that summer heat to come around so moving on the trunk guys we've got the uh, kicker 15 L7 this is on a custom enclosure here a white match counter it's uh, countersunk there white to match the vehicle so that's uh, tuned at 32 hertz uh, 3.4 cubic feet uh, this thing uh, hammers guys I will not lie this is uh, pretty much takes up the whole trunk um, we've got here is the kicker flip that over for you guys so you can read it the kicker ZX1000.1 and I've got great pictures of this you can kind of peek and see the reflective shield of dynamat down there the whole underneath of the vehicle has got two layers all the way under the trunk into the back seat one above here um, but yeah guys I've got the the boyo that's the if you guys can see that there's the rear view cam so every time I throw it in reverse that automatically kicks on uh, which is kind of nice so we've got the magna flow 
dual exhaust guys and that's a kit and I'll put like I said linked about the magna flow um, in the description below and give you guys kind of a lower tour of the vehicle here this has got the Goodyear uh, RSA 2's this is the new model of tire on the Mopar 20 inch OEM those are the chrome clad wheels nonetheless they look good guys they are plastic but you know plastic over metal they shine up nice um, but yeah guys that uh, kind of is a virtual tour here get everything closed up here so you guys can see the vehicle closed up demolded debadged doors closed hood closed trunk closed so like I said guys hope you guys have enjoyed so far on this tour so get this hood down gracefully bear with my patience there so give you guys a tour now full outside of the vehicle with everything closed up so like I said guys we did some demolding debadging check my videos for that if you guys are interested in doing that follow my step by step it'll turn out gorgeous for you still a little cold this morning so we got a little exhaust vapor coming out it's always nice to see did make a video of the exhaust startup so look for that link also in the description guys and this has been debadged completely on the back you guys knew that in the video still undisputably the best look of the charger no emblems on the back just a nice clean look some people don't like it um, I think I'm actually going to take the Hemi ones off reason is then everybody might think it's a v6 so it'll be a total sleeper then so like I said there was the cover over the sunroof and actually for my DNX 9990 on the nav um, I used made use of the factory GPS antenna that uses the same connector so save you guys a step if you put a aftermarket navigation unit in these vehicles with nav already you can make use of that antenna if the adapter is the same mine was so I've got uh, a light tinting on the front this is probably 35% uh, do the limo black dark in the back our law has changed in Illinois so I actually have all of this dark just not as dark as the back but I think my back is still within the legality so um, different angles at night it looks darker obviously I get up on it, it looks more reflective further away you can see in it got the strip across the windshield like I said guys this is a 07 Charger RT uh, 127,000 miles it's not brand new it, I mean it's it's immaculate don't get me wrong there's some flaws like every car has flaws even brand new ones but uh, this is kind of the the virtual tour of my 07 Charger RT I figure I showed you my desk I wanted to give you a full preview of the vehicle so uh, thanks for watching look for the links in the description below and please guys subscribe I appreciate everyone's support keeps me out here doing this I'll do it anyway but appreciate everybody so thank you guys thanks for watching